Hi, this is Dr. Epstein, and I'm responding to Kelly. Uh, her question was along the lines of how do eyebrow transplants work, and will the hairs continue to grow, and can she call the hairs? And the answer is um, uh, is, uh, is a little bit um, a little bit complex in that eyebrow transplants are a very complex procedure. They require the individual placement uh, of hairs in just the right direction uh, in, the, uh, in the natural shape and design of the eyebrows. Uh, I've been specializing in these procedures for the last five years, um, have done over 300 of them in the last five years, um, so have you know, quite a bit of experience in them, and they definitely are one, if not the most challenging aesthetic plastic surgery procedures that we perform. Basically, the procedures involve, Kelly, the obtaining of hairs from the back of the scalp, uh, most commonly. Occasionally we will take hairs from other parts of the body such as the big toe or the chest in men or in the leg, although there are um, limitations to those uh, hairs. While they won't continue to grow, they can't create nearly the kind of density that we can achieve with the transplanting of say 250 to as many as 350 grafts or, or hairs into each eyebrow in a single procedure. Uh, the grafts are placed into very tiny recipient sites. In my practice, I use 0.5 millimeter recipient sites, half millimeter recipient sites. The grafts are then placed one at a time into these very carefully placed recipient sites, which in the head of the eyebrow grow, typically grow upwards. In the body of the eyebrow, they grow in a crosshatch, has a crosshatch fashion. So these hairs are growing up, these hairs are growing down, and then out towards the tail, they taper off. Once transplanted, the hairs um, are then, uh, within five to seven days, will be well, will be set, so you don't have to worry about them. They typically fall out like with any other kind of hair transplant, and then at around three to four months, they will begin to grow again. Once they start to grow, they need to be trimmed. My patients tell me that they need to trim their eyebrow hairs as often as every four or five days. Sometimes they can get away with every two weeks, but typically every four to five days is, is to be expected or should be anticipated. Um, the hairs can be dyed. Typically, we take the hairs from the part of the scalp that has the darkest hairs, the least likely to become gray hairs, which are usually in the back of the scalp, and those typically are a very good match. Uh, patients of all ethnicities are good candidates. Asians tend to be very commonly done because they tend to suffer high incidence of, low, of, of poor eyebrow growth. But African Americans are actually quite good candidates, and I've done over I think around seven or eight African-American patients over the last three years um, and have got good, gotten good results as well. Um, so the hairs do need to be trimmed, but when it's done properly, the look is quite aesthetic. Uh, around 10% of patients wind up desiring a touch-up procedure in which we'll place it around a year later, anywhere from another 30 or 40 to as much as 50 to 70 grafts per eyebrow, just to fill in and create more density but these are very effective procedures when performed properly. When not performed properly, the hairs can be sticking up, can grow out, and they look terrible. Um, I've had uh, several cases where I've actually done reparative work on, and these patients are quite um, depressed over what is unnatural looks. The eyebrows are very important. They're right there in the middle of the face, uh, so it's really important that you do your homework, uh, but you're asking uh, the right questions, so that's the good first step. Thank you. I'm Dr. Epstein.